Hi, I'm Jody from Geeking with Jody. Today I was fiddling with this Trurel and wanted to share it with you because this is a very nice time to onboard yourself with this new tool from a super cool guy and a super professional programmer, Daniel Stenberg. If you are if you are following my channel, you've seen many times I mentioned this guy. Daniel Stenberg is the creator of the curl, also lip curl and on the four days ago he created a repo for truerel you can pronounce it with an e here truerel which is a tr for url if you know tr is a command in the linux world where you can translate something with something else for example change all a's to c's so tr is for translate or transpose URLs. You can work on URLs, change part of them as a CLI, command line interface. So you have a new command URL, you give it a URL and you can ask back what was the host. Change the port to this one, change the scheme to this one, change the path to this one, remove this from the parameters. Everything with one CLI command. This is very useful for your scripts in one hand okay you may say i will do it with my own regex but urls are can be very complicated so it's not always easy to write secure and universally working regex it would be much better if you have a tool from the guy who gave us curl safe and secure as I've told you, he created this repository a few days ago under the curl true rel. If you want to check the code, you can go here, you can on the SSH, you can copy it and clone it. Git clone this. Hit enter and you will have a true rel directory with all the code inside it. Remember, doing it like this will just give you the code. If you want to work on the code, submit prs and this kind of stuff be a developer on this you have to fork the code from here in your own uh space Re clone that one work push and send pull request i have videos about this not going to that direction i have the code here as you can see it's a very straightforward project at the moment the copying make file read me a couple of tests what is important is this one and it's only 20 k's because it uses libcurl extensively to make it just make it to build it or compile it just do a make and now we have a new file truerel executable easy busy but what it can do you can give it a URL and it will speed back the normalized URL. Here they are the same. But if you would go like this, it will add HTTP because that's the best guess it can do. If you go with HTTPS, localhost on this specific port, my page, it will speed back the same thing. You can say, I want to get only the port it will give you only the port this is super useful on scripting when you are bash scripting this is very very good to be able to get things parts or change parts you can say set port sorry on 8080 it will give you the same url with an updated port this is super cool Again, you can do this by your own regexes, replace, or whatever you know. But making it universal working is difficult, first. Second, this is more straightforward. Now there is a tool for it. It's called True... Oh, sorry. TrueRel. I call it T-R-U-R-L. I used to call it in the previous days, but now he says... He prefers the pronunciation true rel like this and 
you have a universal tool from the creator of the curl so this is safe and secure you can create lots and lots of insecurities if you try to manipulate these things manually it's dangerous you can also change the for example host to something very easy also it understands things like var is value set has blah blah and you can say append to what query i want to append to the query val2 is name for example says okay val2 is name oh, okay this one that didn't have a query i was thinking that i'm editing this one but i changed this one change the port change the host and append it to the query the value to equals name you can also trim from it it happens a lot that you have urls for example with utm source which is for tracking you you can remove those ones with the trim like this trim uh, uh no, no no from the query the var i think yes it removed the query or you can get different parts like get the path it says okay this what ah sorry because you can you have to go like this to get the path but you can add path is this so you can script very easily check different parts also it works on different urls for example if you add another one ftp ftp jody i r with path it will give you the paths useful for scripting oh what else is fun for sure you can get the scheme for each one you can change them you can do things like append trim also you can get the json method give me them as a json so it gives you an array of the jsons one is here the second one is here url scheme host port path and query you can also have a for example in your document you can have a general thing which says connect to http user password at this site site and go to this path okay this is the normalized one but you can say okay this is my general please true set the user to jody working fine set password to my pass and change uh, the host to ftp.cz this way you can do all your changes so on one hand i wanted to show you a new tool this can be added to many distros even from this stage i can see myself using it on my different scripts and hopefully i wish this be added to the distros soon but on the second hand this is a very cool project to start learning better C. If you know C, but you want to see how gurus write C, this is a good example. It's only 759 lines of code. And as you can see, lots of it are boilerplate code or whatever we can call it. 23 lines, only the headers. Then some includes. You can see that it includes curl edge. You need curl headers to compile this for sure. I had them so it was easier. If you don't have them, 
just go and check how you can add curl headers to your project if you are on the linux it would be very easy just install the header packages or development packages then it creates some variables these are the ones that can be used here url scheme user password options for the program host port path query fragments what comes after the hashtag zone id and defines the node then it defines some error codes append mistake a command line option missed out of memory cool could not get a url and blah blah then warning then showing the error then showing the help this is why this is a good project to start learning how professional programmers write code in c because we already done uh 134 lines of code and then show version then handling the options and from line 162 it starts to url add how to add a url it uses curls uh capabilities so it's a little bit sometimes more difficult to understand the whole thing although you can go and check this thing if you are not familiar with curl url file path add query add i will go to get those are more fun trim add get okay format while pointer and pointer pointer and not done do this so you can have different things to be added uh, variable output if you got syntax error continue go and read them this is very fun based on different cases it does the break default is this one very beautiful code and very readable it even understand this uh what is it called i'm not sure what the technical term is blah blah you can go okay change the host to this so it will use the same schema but will update only this part and this is for set not much more complicated as you can see not there are no lots of code here and also this is a code written by daniel himself so it's worth read studying and also if you are interested to participate in a super cool project now it's time to check the ticket see if you can solve something or if not if you can follow how other people are solving very 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 basic box by basic math what i mean is at the moment if you want to fix a bug in curl that is much much more difficult here there are more basic bugs for example if you have an error program just crashes it shouldn't crash it should continue with the next component for example these are easy ones to be fixed and this works for single url anyway go by yourself check this try to compile this you will need curl headers later try to understand the code change parts of it and then go to the tickets and see if you can start your professional work alongside other professionals i just wanted to show you a cool tool from a cool guy and something which might be in our distros very soon have fun